She did a whole video on lymphocytes and didn't even talk about atypical lymphs. Where are the atypical lymphs? I want atypical lymphs. Hi everyone, I'm Stephanie and welcome to HEMED. In this video, we are going to build on what we learned in previous videos and look at atypical lymphocytes through a situation analysis of a viral infection. So we have a case where the white count is 12. The total lymphocytes is 5.04, which is 42% of the total white count. This is an increase in lymphocytes and is termed a lymphocytosis, which means we need to look at the blood film because when lymphocytes reach a certain level in adults, we should be checking to see if they are normal. You look down your microscope and you see a whole bunch of these cells. These, my dear, are atypical lymphocytes, also known as reactive or variant lymphs. Going forward, I will use the term reactive because that is a better descriptive term as per the International Council for Standardization and Hematology. The term atypical doesn't really give you much information because a lymphoma cell is also not typical. The lymphocyte is reacting to a situation and activating to do a job. So the small resting lymphocyte has been stimulated to this active form that can also proliferate, which explains why there are nucleoli present on these cells. The cell's cytoplasm have a darkish blue periphery, which is usually termed basophilic. If the whole cytoplasm is basophilic looking, then the term plasmacytoid would be used to identify the cell. A plasmacytoid cell is still reacting to a situation, so calling it reactive lymphocyte is still accurate. It is said that the reactive lymphocyte will indent around red blood cells that it touches. And I have seen inexperienced morphologists use this as a guide to tell if it is a reactive lymph or not. But unfortunately, other cells such as blasts and lymphoma cells can do the same thing. To me, the reactive lymphocyte looks like it is in motion, like it is trying to find the offending virus so that it can tag it, so that other cells can destroy it. But like with everything in biology, they can sometimes not follow this rule and just look like they're hanging out at the mall. The nucleus, and in reality, the cell as a whole, have a pleomorphic or varied appearance. One reactive lymph does not look like its other friends on the slide, but the nucleus will have a mature appearance, though not as condensed as the small resting lymphocyte. There may be a nucleoli, but it will be small. When I was learning about reactive lymphocytes, my teachers closely related them to infectious mononucleosis, or mono, an infection caused by Epstein-Barr virus. Yes, you will see reactive lymphs in mono patients, but not every reactive lymphocyte is related to a mono infection. So today, we learned about reactive lymphocytes and how to identify them on the slide. In the next videos, we will continue to build on your knowledge that you have acquired so far. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section below. Subscribe for future content References available in the description box. Thank you for watching. Until next time.